Hello, my name's Jordan and welcome to Pokemon in Minecraft. I'm going to basically restart this series and me and Matt are going to be building on it with... I think we're going to be building with a build team, but we're unsure yet. We've just sort of discussed a bit. Now, the thing with um, this before I begin is we're going to be in talks with uh, Pixelmon to basically, you know, get this to be the legitimate world that is Pixelmon. Um with the mod so I mean I think that would just be amazing to be honest if this could be the legitimate world with the actual legitimate mod and uh, we were in talks with them a year ago when we had this project and Pixelmon was in early development and we didn't really go anywhere with it so yeah we've got a lot to do with it but I'm just going to show you Pallet Town now these used to be ice and they melted so it's water we haven't touched on this world in over a year so there will be a lot of blocks who will be like why don't you use this 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 we will be getting around to doing that we've just got the literal frame uh, frame yes that's the word this is pallet town and as you see there's a pc and a um, pokemon over there we try to make them as close as possible to the actual game now you'll see all of these above uh, i'll explain those in a second but yeah it goes from route one then there's pallet um, viridian city then it's route two and unless this isn't the up-to-date version there should be Viridian Forest as well. If not, then we'll just have to basically start again and rebuild. It's why I'm doing this video because um, there is an update video a year ago of this. I'm just recapping it. I'm just re-showing it to all of the new um, um, users, viewers, whatever. And um, also there is a lot that we need to update on it. But it is a very, very ambitious project. We were going to do all five worlds. And to have that on the side of um, RuneScape in Minecraft was just like, what should we build today? This, 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 this. It was crazy back in the day. And especially for two people, pretty, pretty crazy things. So, yeah, okay, sorry, Route 2, and then it should go to Viridian Forest, which you can see from the door there. Uh, and, yes, that's a good thing. Okay, so, now going on to this. Now, as you can see above, there are um, red marks, and there are cobblestone. Well, why is this? We'll go here. It should say something. Or it's just a sign. End of route one. Right, okay. So basically, I believe then that means that this should be Viridian City coming from this way, and this way down here should be Pallet Town. I'm, comp I'm, I'm not exactly sure on that. I'll put the video on the photo on screen now, and you can see it'll be in the top corner for the whole thing, the first, the first map. But basically, what we did is we took it from Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and every single city. I can still remember this from a year ago. Crazy, isn't it? Every city had blocks and those blocks we worked out were a hundred in a radi in a in a square block so we just chose that each route was a hundred wide and each route was a hundred long if there was two then it would be a hundred wide and two hundred long and so on and so forth so each city for example the city here is four hundred blocks in a square it was one of the big ones and it works out so that the scale of everywhere is the same because we were basically building off our minds of like this is here, this is here, this is here. And it didn't work very well. So it's still a guessing game, with, but it's at least within the 100 radius, if you know what I mean. So it does work a lot better, and it looks a lot nicer. And also, we did impl try to implement it to be as close to uh, the game as possible. For example, here, you could run and jump over this way, but not this way. So we, we, you know, we did things like that, but it is too flat. We try to added up there but it just looks crap with our old hill styles and things like that this is really old pod crash so what we'd be doing is if we were to you know push this up or bump it up a bit so we've got something to work off we'd just be adding hills and stuff like that and just making it look a lot better really but basically this is just an update to say Pokecraft is going to be underway I mean I'm, I'm wanting this and I don't care if uh, no one else does I want to build it I want to start getting building on it again and I'll talk with this build team a bit more, we'll arrange things and uh, we'll stamp their name on it if they help us and whatnot and it'll be amazing. So um, yeah, it's just an update, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.